Hey guys, this is Mr. GCiv back again. Um, today I wanted to show you SSHing into your iPod um, or iPhone, whatever. Um, it's going to be one of the longer vids, so stay patient with me. Um, well, first, like I said in one of my other videos, um, you're going to need this thing called WinSCP. So just go to Google or a search engine and then type in WinSCP. Um, hit search. And then you're going to come up with this thing called winscp.net. Go to that one. And then um, looks like the newest one is winscp 4.2.3 beta released. Click on download. And then it'll take you to this other page um, with just more stuff, whatever. Hit install package. This one right here. And then it'll say winscp 4.2.3 setup or whatever one whatever one you have downloading and hit save file um, and then right click and hit open yeah let the executable executive exec whatever <laughs> let the file run hit run um, well I, I currently have one SCP running so let me just quickly close that one Okay. Win SCP setup. Next, next, full upgrade. Next. Do not install. I don't really care. It's something for Outlook. Um, next, and then install. I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna hit cancel. But just trust me, guys. This is the one I have. Um, set up. Yes. Okay, and then that will get you the actual Win SCP file. Now let me take you to the iPod and tell you what to get on here. Um, go to your Cydia or IC and, and type in toggle SSH. Just so you guys know, I'm using Cydia right now. I'm usually using IC, but whatever. I'll, I decided to use Cydia. Type in toggle, T-O-G-G-L-E-S-S-H. And then this should be the one. It says from Big Boss and Planet iPhones Utilities. So since it's from Big Boss, that's one of the ones that are automatically put on your um, Cydia when you get it, so you don't have to put in any sources. Go into toggle SSH, and then you get the fishy thing. Um, well, that's it's pretty much it. I already have it installed, so just hit install. It'll be there. Go back, and then once it's installed, what you're gonna have to do is go into your toggle SSH so mine is right here so I'll just click on that one type in my password really quickly <clears throat> and then this is toggle SSH enable disable that is all it is click on enable alright enable so um, SSH has now been enabled um, minimize the window and then let me open up Win SCP. Um, what you what you're gonna want to do is hit new. Um, you won't have any of these. And then your host name is your IP address. Um, I I obviously already have mine put in, so I don't have to. Um, and then your username is going to be root R O O T. And your password is Alpine, A L P I N E. And then your private key file is whatever um, you want to name it. So um, if I was doing I'd put like Mr. G Sivs iPod Touch and then hit save. But I already have one of them for me, so I'm not going to do that. Anyway, um, you hit save and then it'll save it. And it'll come up like this, right? So then, um, I use this one. So then we just hit login. <clears throat> and hopefully, it should pop up. Hmm doesn't seem to be responding it may be the fact that I have a bazillion things oh there it goes All right so sweet it says user using username root and then you type in Alpine 
and then hit OK, and then you should be in. Now it opens up this big window <laughs> where it has all of your files in it. Um, on the left side, it's going to be all the things you have on your computer. On the right side, it's going to be all the things that you have on your iPod Touch. Now, um, be careful with this. This little right side, well, that too with your left side, but be a little bit more careful with your right side. This is your iPod, and you don't want to mess anything up over here. Could be very bad. Um, really, all I use to SSH um, is putting in new themes, such as iNav, the ones that you actually have to set up on your computer. <coughs> um, I'll just show you a quick thing of that. So, um, this is what it's going to be. You want to click on the one with the very top with the little arrow pointing up, and then dot dot. Double click on that one. And then, I don't know if you can see this little thing moving up and down, but go all the way down to the one called Stash, go into Stash, and then you're going to want to go down to this one called Themes, huh, really, is that is that what it's called? <laughs> go into Themes, and then these are all the things that you have in your winner board, right? So, if um, you wanted to edit one of the things that you got from your... Um, I see your Cydia, all that you would have to do is drag and drop. So, let's say I want to change this one. So I just drag over there, and then it'll say that, and then you hit copy. Now it's copying, I really don't want to, so I'm just going to hit cancel. Right? Just drag, drop, edit things on your computer, put it back over. Um, now, um, that's about all I'm going to show you for SSHing. Um, that's really all you need. Um, just download WinSCP from WinSCP.net and then get Toggle SSH. Um, Alpine is going to be your password and root is going to be the one that you type in for your username. Your host name is going to be your IP address. Um, and then your private key file is your whatever you want to name the iPod that you're getting into. Um, that's all SSHing is. It's pretty simple when it comes right down to it. Um, it's basically just use it, getting in your files. Just be careful when you're doing it. Um, before you try anything, um, just YouTube it. YouTube's very nice in that a lot of people can show you what to do, how to do things. So YouTube it or look it up on the internet. A um, little bit of British accent right there. Internet? No, I'm sorry. It's all you British people out there. I know that's not good. Anyway, but yeah. <laughs> Just, that's about it for SSHing. Just be careful when you do it. Um, I made a video on iJeffNav. Um, the next video I'm probably going to make is how to edit that. It's going to be a really quick video so that you can get your um, city or state or whatever um, so, that, so that it displays the correct weather in your area. Well, that's about it. This is Mr. GSIV. See ya.